All right, friends, here we are with another Learn Pack course. This time we're diving into the CSS course where you'll learn interactively everything you need to know to apply styles to your websites. The first order of business is to close this video modal, which is probably playing right now, and read this small section, which basically tells you about the things you'll learn, like how to apply styles in different ways, using inline styles or separate style sheets, how to select different elements on your website how to use class selectors, ID selectors, and all the tricks you need to make learning CSS very easy for you. Let's take a look at how LearnPack works. In this case, we have the LearnPack program running in the terminal. On the left, we have all the files related to the course. Here, the exercises will open incrementally, each one in its own directory. You can change the language here if you wish, and when you do so, the video will switch languages as well. Pretty neat. With this button here, we move on to the next exercise, which is a real exercise. Notice that in this case, I have an HTML code here, and we're going to apply an inline style, but I'm not going to focus on the exercises, I just want to show the controls. This error button you see here allows you to essentially build a website from your HTML code here. Also, if you add CSS, for example, I'm going to copy this link here and paste it into the body and then run it again. See, it also displays without any problems, so you can modify it and your code will be there because the website is built on the code you have here. Another important button is this Run Test button. When you hit Run Test, LearnPack will test the current code to see if it follows the instructions and then give you feedback. Notice that in this case, the head tag is correct, but the background color of the table has to be green, and I didn't set it. If we follow the instructions correctly, just as LearnPack tells us, then we will set the background color to green, give run test another shot. This time it will run faster because I ran it once before. And notice that now everything passed without problems, and we can move on to the next exercise. Another interesting button is this reset button. If you press it, you basically go back to the initial state of your exercise. This can be useful if you want to retrace your steps and do things again, allowing you to practice twice instead of once. Additionally, here you can go to other exercises if you wish. And notice that the exercises you've completed will be crossed out as you do them, like I've done this exercise before. You can report a bug here in case you encounter one. And that's it. Those are the basic controls of LearnPack. I hope you like it and learn a lot from this CSS course.